Hi, my name's Reese, and this is my journey of coming into hospital for my operation. First, I have a pre-assessment appointment in the outpatients department. This means I can meet a nurse and ask all of my questions about my operation. My name is called, I go into a room to get weighed. I have my blood pressure checked using this arm band. It just gives my arm a squeeze. My heart rate is checked using this finger peg, which was really soft. I then stood next to the stick to see how tall I am. None of it hurt and it checked to make sure I am healthy. Sharon is my pre-assessment nurse. She is lovely and makes me feel relaxed. Sharon shouts my name and takes me to another room to talk. She asks me questions to see that I am okay to have my operation. She shows me the ways I can I can have a sleep by breathing into this mask or they put a special straw into the back of my hand. This is called a cannula. Sharon let me play with them to see what they felt like. They just felt a bit squidgy. She tells me things I can bring with me. She answers anything I am worried about. She gives me things to take home and read with my mum and dad. She shows me the journey painted on the walls too. Then I go home and wait for my appointment. Today is the day of the operation. It's the morning, so I don't, I didn't eat or drink anything when I woke up, but I had my breakfast before I went to sleep instead. This is the tricky part but it is very important that your tummy is empty before your operation. We go to the rainforest ward. You have to press the buzzer to get in. A lovely nurse said hello and showed me to my room. There's lots of fun pictures everywhere and everyone's really friendly. The bed is comfy and I got my own TV. I unpacked my bed and brought my teddy, pyjamas, dressing gown and comfy shoes. The first doctor came to see me and asked if I had any questions. This is a doctor that helps me go to sleep. He's called an anaesthetist. He makes sure that my tummy is empty and I am not feeling poorly. He talks to me to see if I want the mask or the cannula to go to sleep with. I am going to have the mask but I will still have the magic cream on before, just in case. The nurse helped me get ready for my operation. She showed me the gown I can wear. Sometimes you can wear your pyjamas. I got a band with my name on, put some magic cream on my hands, checked I didn't have any breakfast and did my blood pressure and heart rate again. This is the chill out calm room if I wanted to be in a quiet area. But I chose to go to the playroom. There is lots of things to do in the playroom. Paula and Jill, the play specialists, were in the playroom. They, the play ladies make sure that there is lots to do in hospital. Even if you're stuck in your bed, they bring you things to play with. I chose colouring. When I was ready, I got changed into my gown. The surgeon came to see me. The surgeon is the doctor who will do my operation. She got mummy to sign another form and made sure that everything was okay for me to have my operation. We could ask any questions to help me not to worry. Even Everyone was ready for me, so Paula showed me the way to go to the theatre. The theatre is rooms where the doctor does your operation. I was allowed to walk, which was fun. We went in the lift and then 
we went over a special bridge to the big hospital and saw more pictures on the walls. In the theatre's waiting area, there is another playroom. There were blue outfits and a fun and funny hats. Everyone checked checks we are happy again. Then we can go and find my bed and I got comfy. I could talk to my mum and cuddle my teddy. The lady cleans off my magic cream. The magic cream means I didn't feel the straw go on my hand. Then I breathed through the mask just like Sharon had shown me. I thought about fun dreams I would have. The nurse showed me the TV, lots of numbers and lots of numbers on which showed my heart rate again. When I was asleep, mummy went for a drink to wait for me to wake up. Next, I remember waking up and seeing my mum. My operation was finished. I got to stay on my bed whilst they pushed me back up to Rainforest Ward which was really fun. The nurse checked I was feeling okay and if there was anything I wanted. They checked me my temperature, heart rate and blood pressure again. I had a bandage on my arm covering the straw. Sometimes the nurses have to put medicine through the straw but once I have had something to eat and drink, they can take mine out. When I was ready, I had a drink and some food. It was really yummy. Then I was ready to play again. We had lots of fun. I got a sticker and a certificate for being so good. Then the nurses took the sticker and straw away from my hand so we could go home. The, the nurse told my mum how to keep looking after me at home as I still have to rest to get better. Which is good, I can lay on the sofa and watch films today. Then we could all go home.